Hey, it's me. We're back out here in the woods again. I uh, just came through from that way. Been out here uh, picking some mushrooms. And I looked over this way and it looked different. So sure enough, the ball was here. It's gone. It is down there now. It's right down there. And it doesn't look like anything else has really been moved here. Peanut butter is still untouched. So, uh, just wanted to point this out, and, uh, I'm going back to picking. So, uh, thanks. Bye. Okay, I gotta do this quick, because it's raining out here, and the pod's getting wet. So, we just came down from picking mushrooms. We make a pot of soup, and I just was up at the apology stump, and the ball was moved. Well, this here is the trail. Since yesterday, this tree here is now down across the trail. That was not here yesterday. And this one over here, which is one that I came out, uh, I think it was Thursday night. I came out and sat out here and made some noise and I hit my stick against this tree. Now it is leaning across the trail. Kind of hung up on that one there. Pretty cool, huh? Back out here on the trail. We've uh, had a big storm. It was after these trees came down. I was out picking mushrooms uh, Saturday morning before work and came down from up that way. Came by the uh, apology stump, found the ball moved, but not much else. We got down here, found this tree down on the trail and uh, since then Saturday night we had a, a big storm so there's a lot of, lot of debris. One of the things that's out here that I want to point out real quick that in the clip from that morning you'll see as I walk by there's uh, these sticks here and this is now moved. I don't know if this got knocked in the storm. Somebody did it these rocks here were stacked up like that. And then I think maybe this was up here like that, something like that. But anyway, those were knocked over. These have been like this for a couple of months here. I haven't pointed them out before because it's right next to the trail, so I never really knew what, what put them here. But anyway, this was knocked over. And this here, I believe, is stuck in the ground that's new here so you can take from that what you'd like but we'll move on up here now this tree was leaning this is the tree that I hit a stick against on Thursday night when I was out here and Saturday morning when I came out it was leaning up against that one this tree right here is the one I was sitting on when I was out here and it looks like as this one came down probably in the storm it snapped off the top of that one and now it the this one here is wedged in and I'd like to point out that this tree here and the remains of that one right through there and the far one over there are the three that came down just a couple of days after I saw the big guy following the elk up that way up on the hill this last November. Okay, so now I know this tree here and the one back there were all before the storm. Now I'll show you what happened in the storm. That's up this way. So we're just up here a little ways. Yesterday I went up to the gifting stumps and uh, the old one, well, things were moved a little. There's not a lot up there, so I can't say a whole lot, but I did get some daytime owl calls up there. And then we came down to the gifting stump down here and uh, I'll show you about that here in a minute. But these ones here, this is what the storm did. You can see there's uh, these trees here, 
and that one over there. These all came down during the storm. Okay, we're back up here at the old gifting stump. It's been a while since I was here, and uh, I meant to get up here last week, but it never happened, so... It's probably been well over a month since I was here last, probably at least six weeks. When I left here before, I left the cup up here on the stump with an apple in it, and the cup is on the ground again. Every time I come up here, the cup is on the ground, and uh, the cat ball is down here. It doesn't rattle anymore. Okay, so then we've got, let's see, I left, I think the two magnets as eyes, there were the claws and claw pieces that made a smile, and I think maybe eyebrows. Right now I have one, two pieces of claw that are left, one here on the ground. So oh, there there's probably three more than that. I think I'll have to look around a little farther. But anyway, this is the first time that I have found the magnets, uh, you know, stuck together. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. It is well, about 12:30 afternoon. And we've got an owl over there. Interesting. Okay, so I have to grab a jar of peanut butter to bring up here with me. But uh I'll spread these things out again. Make the face. We are back out here at the gifting stump, and it doesn't look like anything in there has really been moved. Uh, the garlic seems to be sprouting. The rocks, I'll have to take a picture to compare. This garlic is sprouting. What's interesting, the peanut butter. The lid is gone. It's over there, but the jar is still upright, and it's full of water. Can't really, you know, can't really say what what did that because it's been full of water. So, and this lid I left screwed on but loose. I didn't leave this just easy to take off. And the lid's over here to be intact. What's weird, I think, is that the lid is gone, but the jar isn't knocked over. You know, I know it wasn't a full jar when I put it out here, but you know that I can't say what, what kind of marks those are in there. Possibly left from the knife. I don't know. Maybe. They're too wet to tell for sure. But I think it's interesting that the jar is still here, upright, not knocked over, and the lid was over there. Pretty cool, huh? Also, any marks that were in here have been washed away by the rain, and the ball is still over here into the tree on the stump. And there's the ball. Has not moved. 